I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Here is five minutes Cantonese. Now I'm Amanda. Thank you so much. Five minutes Cantonese. Today, let's talk about a very, very common expression in Cantonese. Ma fan, ma fan. Let's get started. First of all, what does it mean by ma fan? Let's see how Chow Yun Fat explained it. Hey, then let's have. Oh, we need something. Oh, fine, ah. This is a movie clip from Chow Tin Di Tong Wa. Chow Tin Di Tong Wa is a movie from 1987. Chow Tin Di Tong Wa is a movie from 1987. The leading actor is Chow Yun Fat. The leading actress is Zhong Cho Hong. Zhong Cho Hong is the main actor. In the movie, Chow Yun Fat explained the word "ma fan." So, what does he say? Right, he used "cha bo" to explain the word "ma fan." Why? Because teapot, "cha bo." Cha bo sounds like trouble, so he used this word related to women. First, Chow Yun Fat is right. Literally, ma fan means trouble as a noun or troublesome as an adjective. For trouble, let's make a sentence. For example, I have some trouble. Uh, can you lend me some money? How to say in Cantonese? Right, 我 and then to have 有 some 啲 and then trouble 麻烦我有啲麻烦 Can you lend me some money? Can you 你 can and cannot 可嗯可以 and then lend me some money 借啲钱俾我 ，let's add a ending word 啊！你可唔可以借啲钱俾我啊？我有啲麻烦，你可唔可以借啲钱俾我啊？中史测验攞本国文出嚟出猫，你都算失败啦你。For adjective, for example, in this movie, Zhou Xingqi, Stephen Chow is a very problematic student. No teachers likes him. So how to say it in Cantonese? Ni go this student, ho sang, ho sang very troublesome, ho ma fan. This student is very troublesome. Ni go ho sang ho ma fan. All teacher don't like him. So here is a bit similar to the usage of every with double the quantifier. Go go, which means all, and then teacher, low C. Remember in the lesson of every. So normally when we use every or all, we'll add the word do, and then don't like him, 唔中意佢 him. Okay, 个个老师都唔中意佢。呢个学生好麻烦噶，个个老师都唔中意佢。Now. Let's see the second meaning, which is the most common usage. Annoying. For example, my mom is very annoying. 我妈妈 very 好 and then annoying 麻烦 Here for annoying or annoyed, you can skip the word 麻 okay, or you can keep it. 我妈妈好麻烦 ，or you can say 我妈妈好烦。Why？ 点解啊 ？She doesn't allow me to play video game at night. 佢 ，and then the time. 夜晚 don't allow. 唔俾 ，and then me. 我 ，and then to play the video game. 打机。打机佢夜晚
唔俾我打机。我妈妈好麻烦噶，佢夜晚唔俾我打机。Or you can drop the word 麻。我妈妈好烦噶，佢夜晚唔俾我打机。Number three, it can also use as a verb like to annoy. For example, like to give trouble or to irritate someone. For example, your friend wants to help you to do the grocery shopping. You say you don't want to bother her, so you say something like that. I don't want to bother you. 我 and then 唔想 not want 我唔想 and then to annoy or to bother. 麻烦 and then you. 我唔想麻烦你，我唔想麻烦你。Or you can also drop the word 麻。So you say 我唔想烦你，我唔想烦你。Remember how to say thank you in Cantonese, right? For a pleasant or a compliment, you can say 多谢我，多谢晒。For people to help you do a favor, you say 唔该晒。Or simply, 唔该 Actually, you can also say, 麻烦 But you must add the word 晒 in the end. 麻烦晒麻烦晒 Literally, sorry to bother you. But it doesn't mean sorry. It actually means thank you, which is 唔该晒 You can also say, 麻烦晒 It's like thanks for your help. So in a very polite way, you can also choose to add. Ne, mean which means thank you. So how to say, ma fan, ne, or ma fan sai ne. Again, ma fan ne or ma fan sai ne. How about you plural, right? Ne de. So in full sentence, ma fan ne de, ma fan ne de. Or, 麻烦晒你哋，麻烦晒你哋。Very good. Why? Why? You 点啊？好多功课做啊！我觉得好烦啊！系啊，你几麻烦噶？啊？嗯，唔讲啦，冇嘢啦。喂喂。Actually, fun has another meaning: frustrated or worried. Actually, the word is from the expression "fun." No, fun. No, you can say it in full, but many Cantonese will just drop the word "no." So we'll say, "I feel very frustrated." We'll add the word to feel, 我 and then to feel, 觉得 very frustrated. 好烦，我觉得好烦。However, even we drop the word to feel, it means the same. 我好烦啊，我好烦啊。But normally, we'll add some ending word. Let's add an easy one. Ah,、uh, in the end. So what happened is Amanda have lots of homework to do. 我 to have 有 a lot of 好多 and then homework. 功课，我有好多功课 ，and then she feel very frustrated。我觉得好烦啊。And then Uncle John, his Cantonese is not very good. He thought Amanda was joking. So what he say? Nay, and then quite. Gay, and then troublesome. 麻烦。And then let's add an ending word. Ga, 你几麻烦噶 After this, Amanda is really annoyed, and she hang up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. If you want to learn Cantonese with me, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want the worksheet and the supplementary audio exercise, please visit my Patreon page. See you next time. Bye bye. Hats again. Bye bye.